In today's video, I'm going to show you a nice trick that you can implement inside Cartoon Animator 4 to create motion blurs for your animation. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new in animation, you want to start out and you just feel that there's so many things you need to buy like software, etc. And it may be... Too expensive to start off well I've got some great news for you I've got a free or a list of free software um, these aren't pirated copies these are actually freeware so it's available for free to the public and so I compiled the list from um, 2d animation software 3d animation software script writing software storyboarding uh, video editing and also audio recording and mixing for your voiceovers so it's a whole list of software that is absolutely free so it's a great way for you to start off you will have all the software you need to actually start animating and it won't cost you a cent so that list if you want that list in the description box below there's a link just click there and i will send it to you now today i want to show you a nice trick um, for cartoon animator 4 now um, if you have After Effects, uh, you can actually create animations and um, export it to After Effects and you can add motion blurs to your animations so that if an object moves very fast, normally with uh, video recordings with a camera, that fast motion will actually be blurred. Um, that is just how it works depending on your shutter speed on your camera um, but normally that is how it works so it's actually an effect that you can also implement in your animations they use it a lot especially in 3d animations as well but also in 2d animations now cartoon animator 4 doesn't have that function but if you have after effects then you can do it but what if you are like me, you don't have After Effects, then what? Well, I'm going to show you a nice trick that you can do um, to get this, um, to get a nice motion effect um, in your animations. Now, you can. I'm just going to show you um, the effect, how you can do it, but then you can apply this to characters, etc. So how you have used this um, technique is up to you. But I want to show you this technique on how you can create this motion effect inside your animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ball for instance. I'm going to drag it right there. And then what I want to do is obviously I want it to move from this side to the other side. So um, let's go to frame say 20. Um, I just want to and let's move it right there and let's just add a um, transition curve to it um, so if I select that frame and okay so let's just add smooth in smooth out and if we press play there you go now you will see there is a bit of a motion effect but if you're actually going to export it it actually exports the frame so it won't um, it won't really be that effect that you want okay so what you do let me show you okay you select your ball and then you duplicate it okay so now you'll see there's another one so I'm just to make my job easy um, I am going to take the second one and I'm going to put it behind the main one. I'm just going to make it minus one. And the first frame is I'm going to drag it one um, keyframe behind. So if I'm going to drag, you're going to see there is that second ball is dragging behind. And it will end at the exact same time. So you don't adjust the last keyframe, only the first one. Okay, and then what I will do is I will then drop the opacity of the second ball. Let's say to about, yeah, let's make it 
Um, let's just type it in. Let's make it 35. Okay, and now what I do is I take that second ball and I duplicate that one as well. So I duplicate it. Now there's three. And now I do exactly the same with that one. Okay, so now I'm going to drag that keyframe one behind. So you'll see there's three balls right there. And now I drop the opacity even further, maybe to about... 15 and if we press play you will have that motion effect as you can see right there and that is how simple it is to create your own motion effects inside cartoon animator 4 uh, so the key is you want um, the the balls behind the main ball um, to drag. So you want to um, let it be one keyframe behind, but it needs to end at the same time. Okay, so that is basically, as you can see, these keyframes. The main one starts at the beginning. The second one is one keyframe behind. And then the last one is one keyframe behind. And it ends at the same time. And then obviously... Uh, the second ball, you drop the opacity, and the last ball, you drop the opacity even further. And then, obviously, you get that nice motion effect effect um, when something moves quite fast. Now, you can basically do this with anything or, or with everything. So, let's say, for instance, you've got a character, and you want that character to punch. So, let's quickly do that. Um, let's remove all these quickly and let's just add a character. So I'm not going to go into detail with this. So let's just drag a character on. And then you basically do the exact same thing that I've just done now. But when it comes to characters, you may need to make some body parts um, invisible so that... Let Let's say, for instance, the, the character is punching and you only want the arm to move. So what you'll have to do is, let's say, we have this character and I'm just going to, um, just for example, I'm going to make this leg, okay, let's undo. I always forget to um, remove. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, so let's try again. Let's um, take this. Undo again. Let's take the leg. Okay. And then let's say at frame 15, this leg is there. So maybe he's kicking. Okay. So if we press play, You can see it is very short. Uh, let's move this back. So if he moves, let's. I think let's make it faster. Okay. Okay. So now what you do is you just duplicate this character. So let's duplicate him. Uh, And then you basically take that first frame of that leg and you just adjust it. So I'm going to take this one out. And I want to adjust the leg. And we just take, we move it one behind. And we drop the opacity. And if you're going to press play, you will see that leg drag and ends at the same time. But what I forgot to do is, you can actually see it, I have to make 
there you go it needs to be behind and there you go you see that motion effect and then you just add your second character you drop that opacity even further so that you have like um, two parts dragging but if your character moves a lot um, for instance a punch the rest of the body doesn't move much um, it's only the arm that moves so if you're gonna duplicate the whole character everything will blur okay so what you want to do for instance let's move to this character so you go to your frames and you just make everything that you want um, not visible so let me just drag this here and then what you do is everything like your hip you make it empty right thigh empty right shank empty right foot empty like left thigh you want to keep and so you make everything you don't want you just make it empty so that at the end of the day you only have the one um, let's move. at the end of the day un the only thing that will be visible so let's go and So there you can see uh, I still need to make the head and the right foot invisible. So the only thing that will then move is his left leg that will blur. So if you want to do this motion also with someone punching, you don't want the whole body to blur or move. You only want, say, the arm. And so you just make everything um, um, invisible, <laughs> technically, uh, so that only that leg um, shows and that is basically how you can get a nice um, motion blur for your character and so if we press play I think this so basically you get the idea on how you can create your very own motion effects inside cartoon animator for for nice action scenes if you want so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video it was just a short tip on how you can just add motion effects to your animations let me know your thoughts and um I'd um, remember to hit the subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a video. So from me, I will see you guys next week. From me, God bless and happy animating.